elves. Cold is coming. Or snow. On the morning, the camp wakes up. The sight of dancing white flakes. The first snow much sooner than anyone expected. And although it melts soon, the mood remains depressed. You'll shuffle through the mist, the falling snow, muffling their voices and turning them pale like ghosts. Someone curses under their breath. This is the last thing we need. Working in such cold is going to be a drag. This nasty surprise heralds the unnaturally early winter, but nobody feels like talking about it. Motivation will fall even more each morning. Hey, more engineers. Okay. We can actually do some research now because we have engineers again. Well, once we get enough lumber to do so, that is. One person without a house. Who the heck doesn't have a house right now? <laughs> Your shift is on. Hey, guy, get a house already. Jeez, Louise. Okay. Um, how much lumber do we need for this? 40? Working. We're working. We're well on our way to that. How dangerous are we? Danger is not high. That's good. I remember how this ended for you. Oh dear. Alright. So we're going to hit up these safety improvements because we're going to need them. Almost have enough steel components. That's good. Play the generator whenever he's tired of it. Die of starvation. Rip. That is, uh, very unfortunate. <laughs> I'd have to say. Oh, we're at 25. What are we going to need for the next thing? We need another 20 steel components here. These upgrade systems as well. Um, need more stuff too that we need to bank up. Get more of these going on. This is just steel, right? Yeah, 20 steel. Do I have a technology for reducing the cost of that? Machine shop. Yeah, it's this one here. Okay, yeah, that's the thing I'm working for. So we'll need this. I might want to get the steam reloading station. I think it's how I have a couple extra steam cores sitting around. Might be worth my time. Right, three hours for these guys come back, and then we can start working on the other section of this here. We are going hardcore on the coal at the moment, so that's good. Public house has been established. Cleanup is easy, you just toss everybody in the generator. Throw another hero on the fire, right? That should be on. I must have ran out of coal at some point, so it turned off my turned off my bathhouse. Oh, what's going on here? Good old Aunt Sally. Workers' Council took the initiative to organize an after-hours Aunt Sally tournament. Workers are in high spirits, throwing sticks at a, at a dolly crowned with an old bowler hat. Whack it, shouts one of the players, right on the head. Oh, what a shot. I swear this dolly looks like my bloody foreman in his stupid hat. I see. 
increases the worker's motivation. <laughs> Yeah! Go get him, guys! Way to go! Alright. One hour. I mean, I could start working on the core, but I think I'll work on- I'll finish the scaffolding first. About two days ahead of schedule yet. Good. There we go. All right. Go support frame. Next the workers. Increase the hours. These back on. Increase hour times. What does that put us at? That puts us at harmful. I'm okay with harmful. This needs to get moved. Road go into this bad boy. Oh, I have to run it off in between the houses, I guess. Okay, so those guys look at that building. Can I build the core at the same time? Oh, I can. Dangerous. We'll put that on safety procedures here. Not safe? I mean, yeah. But listen. Listen, listen, listen. If we don't all die in a fiery explosion, it'll be great. See what I'm saying? Pick up what I'm putting down. <laughs> Safety auditor. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, what could possibly go wrong, okay? I mean, seriously. Everybody dead. Instantly, everybody explodes. Quitting time. Workers, leave your tools in Extended order. shifts going. Safety improvements for research. So that does improve workplace safety of the machine shop by one level. We got that going for us. Uh, what do we need for this? We need 75 steel. That's what I need for that. Okay. Beginning of the end. Change of plans. Sir, a telegram from London. We're going to be cut off. The frost coming sooner than expected. Lawyer meteorological these boys. <laughs> uh, society warns that the sea will freeze in two days, or twelve days, sorry. Stopping all navigation and fishing. We'll cease all shipments in ten days. Start stockpiling materials and food. The evacuation of an icebreaker is planned in 18 days. It is imperative that you complete the generator by then. Good luck. 
Oh boy. Temperature will fall drastically. Deliveries will end on day 37. You must finish the generator by day 45. Okay, so we got 10 days. All right, so we're going to have, we got to make sure we have an, like enough stuff here, obviously. Uh, so food's going to be a big deal. Probably going to want to build some. Uh, where are they? Resources, here we go. Resource depots. Dropped in here. Don't worry, it's just a little snow. We find. Oop, these guys are waiting. Oh, they made it back to the site, right? Uh, something down here, the mountain pass, then. And I guess we can go to the snowy hills after. Hmm. I wish I had a tech to be working on right now. I suppose I could throw some. Actually, throw some engineers over there, but we don't really need that happening. Okay, this needs to be rations. This other one's going to need to be coal, I think. Sir, the coming coal threw everyone off guard. The forecasts are true. It'll make finishing construction much more difficult. We work on technology, starting to think about the ways we could at least somewhat mitigate the coming cold. If you want to, some of the ideas we developed into solutions for your request. Go me. Heaters allow us to use heaters and heat workplaces during working hours. Each heater raises the workplace temperature by one level. There's one coal when running. Medical posts, dispensaries, and infirmaries will be warmer. Allows us to build braziers, which burn coal. Raise the temperature around them. Yeah, we're definitely going to need that. And we get efficient ones right away, too, potentially. Sawdust in the food, right? That's going to be coal. We need the extra space. And the, okay, so the first thing we need to do probably is increase motivation. So, got some motivation going, so that's good. What does our food rations look like? What's our economy of food looking like? Okay, so we are gaining food per day, so that's good. We gotta keep up with that. Fishing port's already working overtime. I'm on it. We need his steel right now. Steel for everything. All right, what? So we got the support frames going. We're going to need steam exchangers and steel composites. So we still need 20 of these bad boys. And we'll have to work up these steam exchangers. So we just need a lot of steel, really. What this is going to come down to. Uh... I think we're going to switch this over to steel. At this point.
I feel like we should be able to get enough wood from the lumber mills. Hardcore steel production. Fire danger. Sir, a small fire broke out in the unfinished core. We managed to put it out before it spreads, but it's bound to happen again if we do not improve the uh, through the work safety. Additionally, we can build fire dampeners inside the structure to limit the scale of any potential fires. How much we need? Five steel composites. Remind me again when we have enough resources. We're almost there. We just need one more. We'll get that tomorrow. Or later today, I guess. Alright, so that lumber mill's cranking. We still got a little bit of coal left here, but that's going to burn out. We're definitely going to need... Oh, hold on a second. Before we lose our ability to contact London... workers and a steam core. That could be three steam cores to work with. I don't know if that's necessary, actually. See, so we're going to lose our shipments here fairly shortly. Anyways, I'm not really sure what the steam cores are going to be able to use on, even. There's more people for right now. Build the fire dampeners. Yo. Black steel is going to start becoming a problem. I need to get some more research done as well. If I get to 20, I'll do that. Researched. Twelve people became amputees. All right. Oh, that sucks. What are we at here? Is this just at? Oh, we're at dangerous right now. Oh, because of the freaking. Uh, that's so dang high. Oh, that blows. I mean, we got more people coming in, but it... What a... I mean, we have four prostheses, so at least we'll get four people back from this. All working overtime, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. A little bit of a setback. How are we doing on... Okay, it doesn't look like they're gonna riot or anything, so that's good. Let's pull some workers out of here. Shove them in there. I guess we'll do 
short shifts over here as well for right now. 